Hi guys, how are you doing today? I am wearing the same clothes and I'm still tired just like in the last video because this is filmed on the same day. But I wanted to keep doing these brand overviews and I have been able to try the really interesting and fun brand Zoologist. This is a brand that is, I feel, a lot talked about because it's very, very unique. The bottles have a unique design. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, they have paintings on them. They are all named after different animals. And I do feel like this brand doesn't disappoint because it is very unique. It is a niche brand, so the prices are about, you know, niche prices. And I feel like if you are looking for an experience, if you want to have a perfume that is really unique, this is the brand to go to. So I wouldn't say any of these are safe blind buys because they are very special. But I think some of them are m much easier to wear. And especially Dragonfly and Nightingale are just very fresh, especially if you like the... Uh, cotton scents that I know a lot of you like. The dragonfly is really good and Nightingale. Oh, I just breathed in some dust. Nightingale is also very fresh but also sweet. Uh, and then we have uh, Hummingbird which is also a sweeter scent and Civet and Macaw and I think all of these are really cool but the two standouts for me are beaver and bat. Beaver is the one that I like personally the best. It's just kind of a soft scent. It has top notes of fresh outdoors, air, linden blossom, wood shavings, wild vegetation, heart notes of damp air, dry wood, light musk and water, base notes of heavy musk, dark woods, vanilla, amber, castorium and leather. So this one was the nicest on me. It just turns to a very nice, warm, enveloping scent, but it also has that uniqueness with the outdoors and the dampness and the vegetation and everything like that. So this is my favorite from the brand. And then the most unique is definitely Bat. If you want to have a scent experience, you need to try this one. This one basically, it smells exactly like where you would picture a bat living. So it actually smells like a dirty, mossy cave with all the fruits that they have dropped on the, the ground that are kind of overly ripe and not rotting, but very mushy. So it's it really got that um, top notes of banana and soft fruit and damp earth. And then hard notes of fig, tropical fruit, mineral notes, myrrh, re resins, vegetal, vegetal roots, furry musk, leather, vetiver, sandalwood and tonka. And basically on me it just starts with that hit of, of fruit, almost unbearing fruit, unbearable fruit. You know like the pulp from Byredo, something like that, that is just fruit in your face, overripe fruit and overripe bananas and then you get that kind of mossiness and cave and it's wet and it's dirty and it's dark. It really smells like if uh, I was going into a cave where they lived. So it's just, it's an experience. This to me is not a scent that I would wear but I would actually just keep this sample and sniff it once in a while. It's like MM Ink from Byredo, one of my favorite perfumes to smell, but I wouldn't necessarily wear it. But if you're brave enough and you can pull this off, then hats off to you because that's kind of cool, I have to say. But this one is really, really interesting. So I think uh, in total the brand is it's just really an experience. They are doing something that is out of the box and they are, you know, kind of pushing the boundaries of what is a scent and what isn't. So I would definitely say give them a try. Maybe not safe as blind buys. If you're going to blind buy them, go for something like Dragonfly or Hummingbird. But 
I think definitely try them because they are very, very interesting. So that was my little overview of these and I think it's really fun to do these overviews and I hope you like them. And if there's any of those scents that you feel like you want an in-depth review of, then just let me know and I will try to do that. Okay, I hope you're having a good day guys. Bye!